He barely missed. Got to the line, 17 rebounds, 10 assists, three steals, two blocks. I mean, 49 points. I mean, it's it's ridiculous what he's able to do. Um, I think the, you know, we know he's capable of nights like this, but to do it tonight, you know, we lose Kai. You know, James obviously is is soldiering through, you know, his ailments. Um, we're down bodies, we're wounded, and for him to have the toughness, the mentality, you know, that's what makes him one of the all-time greats. And so this is a performance that, you know, a signature performance, you know, for, for Kevin, and, uh, and it was beautiful to watch. Alex Schiffer with the... Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, first, I'm just curious what the scene was like in the locker room uh, after the game. Uh, yeah, everyone's excited to, to, you know, get game five. You know, we have the lead here, and, uh, you know, we got a great opportunity to, to go up there and, and try to improve and play better and, and have a great game. So guys are excited. Um, you know, obviously we struggled for large parts, you know, a lot of things going on trying to balance, uh, so many, you know, things, uh, amongst our group that are just, are just difficult. And so, you know, we had a tough start. We even had a tough start to the second half and we, we kind of implored them to, you know, to do what we've, what we've preached to them all year and they started to find it. And, you know, they, they defended, um, you know, the last 15 minutes of the game or so, I'd say incredibly well. And uh, we started to find, you know, a little more understanding offensively. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, um, you guys were down 17. I'm wondering if you saw just maybe a shift in, in Kevin's demeanor or just a shift in his approach. Like what allowed him to go off from that point and then what allowed you guys Sorry, Christian, I don't know why you're muted right now. Um, I can't, I could only hear the first part of the question, but you know, I didn't, I didn't necessarily see a different demeanor from Kevin. You know, he, he, he was locked in from the start. It just, we were trying to figure out how to play, you know, James back in the lineup, but you know, he, him not being feeling himself and trying to feel his way back into the game and our guys trying to feel their way. And so it took us a period of time, I think, to find some, some freedom out there uh, as a group. And, you know, you got to feel some freedom. I mean, I know it's the playoffs and it's pressure and uh, the stakes are heightened and, and all that, but you got to enjoy it and you got to feel free and you got to play together. And I think it took us a while to get there, but I don't think Kevin's demeanor changed. He just got, we got there and we started to make some plays and find some space. And, and when he got to his spots, you know, obviously he's, he is what he is. He's, you know, one of the all time greats. And so tonight he got, it took a while before we could really get him some momentum, but, you know, he took it. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. This is twofold, Steve. I'm wondering, A, what sort of emotional lift, just having James back out there leading on the court, what kind of lift that gave the team? And secondly, was there anything tactical that you guys were able to change late third, early fourth that allowed you to get over the hump or was that just guys getting more comfortable playing with James again? It was a comfort, you know, the, the, they were doing more of the things we've been preaching and it took a while to get there, but, you know, I think it was difficult for everyone just to feel out the new dynamic, you know, without Kai, with James, James not being, you know, the James we know, but wanting to help his teammates and soldier through it. I think it took us a moment to longer than a moment, but it took us a while before we could kind of find um, a cohesion. So just another thing that's been thrown at us and, and in the game tonight. And we, we've, we were fortunate enough to have the toughness. I thought to stick with it. We kept telling them stick with it. And they found, you know, a little bit of, uh, of cohesion at, at the right time. And we went on the roll. Vincent Goodwill with Yahoo sports. Hey Steve, how did you feel like Kevin was reading the game early on? It felt like he was defending the realm and playing the passing lanes and then maybe just picked the perfect time to exert himself offensively as far as like conserving his injury in, in energy. Is that the way you saw it as well? I think that's some of it for sure. Uh, but I, I think, you know, we just weren't playing in a way that benefited any of us early. Um, you know, we, we couldn't find a rhythm together. Um, you know, it, it, we found it, and, but Kevin was great 
start to finish, we just couldn't give them enough opportunities early. Um, and then we kind of figured some things out. I think we kind of got more to, to where we've been most of the year. And, uh, but I just like, like, he, you know, what at, at first, you know, I thought he was locked in playing great, but we just weren't able to facilitate the opportunities that we were, we were been preaching and working on. And, and in the end, we kind of got there, but he got on a roll, obviously at the right time. He, we, we, found a little bit more of an understanding together and, and gave him more of an opportunity to get on a roll. And that's where, you know, he took over the game. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, I apologize if you've been asked this, but uh, uh, when you guys were outscored badly in the paint in the first half, because it was clear James couldn't, you know, get to the rim the way he normally does, was there a, a, a specific decision made to just start playing through uh, Kevin in the third quarter? Um, yes and no. I mean, obviously, once he got it going, um, you know, we debate back and forth at times, you know, where we should get him the ball and how we can diversify that. And sometimes it's just about being simple, you know, and, and you know, we'd like to move him around and not be predictable. But at the end of the day, I think – you know, we, we kind of got for a big portion of that second half, we, we just stuck with Kevin, um, you know, having the ball, handling the ball, bringing the ball up the court and playing through him. But, you know, we, we got a lot of different things that we can we can try to do. It's more about how much time do we have to feel comfortable with one another with all the changes and all the, the differences in a short period of time in, in the toughest time of the year. So, you know, we figured it out as the game went on, but uh, it's a, it's a, it's a pro process. We have to continue to grow. We have to continue to find that, um, you know, that place that we feel comfortable with, that we've played at most of the year, that we try to preach to them. And, and it's very difficult for the players in short notice with very little opportunity to, to, to run through it because they have to rest their legs and, and, uh, and be prepared to get out there on the court and give it the effort they gave it tonight. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Steve. Uh, Jeff Green tonight. Uh, how important was his shot making early is, while you guys were, like you said, still kind of searching for things a little bit? I mean, Jeff Green was unbelievable. I mean, incredible performance, kept us in the game for, for, for long stretches of it where, you know, it could have got away from us and we weren't playing well. Um, you know, he just, he didn't miss for a long, long time and kept us in it. And so, uh, you know, for a guy who's coming off an injury, who, you know, we, who's been the big part of our team this year to sh step up and show that maturity, that veteran presence, that, you know, winning mentality tonight was unbelievable. So, it, you know, Kevin's performance was historic, but Jeff's the one that, uh, you know, kept us in the game for a long, long time. You're on Weizmann, Fox Sports. Hey, Steve. Um, the decision to play Kevin 48 minutes just in a whole game, was that, I guess, when did that come about? What were the conversations like between you two? And just is any part of you worried about the sustainability of that or him carrying this load going forward? Yeah, I mean, what can I tell you? It's not ideal. But if we didn't play in 48, probably we're winning tonight. So, you know, it's a tough decision. And it's uh, it's a, it's an easy decision that's very tough to make. And so I, I hate to put him in that position, but we talked through the game with him. We tried to find some some different times to get timeouts and, and give him a spell. But, you know, it's just – we've just had so much stuff thrown at us, so many injuries, so many – you know, changes throughout the year, you know, now's the time, um, you know, we're taking a few risks here, to be honest. And so hopefully we can kind of settle the things down and um, and not have to play in the whole game um, next night. But, uh, you know, that that's part of what the playoffs is about, is finding ways to, to make it happen when things don't look good. And that was kind of a, the wild card that we threw out there tonight was keeping them out there and just – just checking in with him, making sure he was okay. And uh, he was unbelievable to be able to handle that load, and especially given his history. And it's not a great feeling to put him in that position, but it's one that he wanted. And, you know, it's one that we needed. Thanks for your time, Coach.